Hello, good morning everybody and particularly good morning to Peculiar School. I'm very pleased to be presenting to you from Brookhouse College in the UK. And my name's Carolyn, Carolyn Blackshaw, and you'll have my details at the end. And of course, um, um, Come Study International will have all my details. Um, I'm going to show you quite a few um, photographs in this presentation so that you really get a little bit of an idea visually as to what everywhere looks like. And this is um, very close to the school. It's the centre of the town in which we are placed. We are very international. So um, last year we had 58 different nationalities and this map really just gives you an idea of that global spread of um, students and of course Ghana's mentioned here if you can see that. The main campus, so the house that I showed you on the first um, slide is this one here and you were looking at it photographed from this angle and this is the main campus with the under 16 accommodation and at the moment we do have our restaurant in here but that shall be moving to another building and we have our own medical centre and uh, medics and the physio uh, are situated in there. So under 16 accommodation is on here as well and uh, over 16 is elsewhere. We are quite a, a significant footprint on the town of Market Harbour and our main campus as I said on that previous slide is here and then we are dotted about the town. All this is very easy walking distance and the high street with the main shops are really around this area and along here and that becomes everyone's corridor to college because you may be in different blocks, you may be in accommodation, you may be in the football academy, you may be in the STEM centre for some of your, um, your lectures and lessons and that means you will be walking around and you'll feel that you are a part of the local community. Just to give a little bit of an academic overview, at very much at the lower end of the, of the college, so what I mean is the younger end, it's Key Stage 3, GCSE, and then at the upper end, A-level and foundation programmes in preparation for university, and pre-sessional English, which isn't usually relevant for students from Ghana. This is to give you a little bit of an idea of the, uh, the different nationalities. This is the majority of our student council and um, it was a, a, a charity day and um, Give Racism the Red, Red Card began on the football pitches actually a number of years ago and now has become a significant day where it's remembered each year. And our student council collected money for the charity by asking everyone to wear red and wearing a donation, uh, so paying a donation. So everyone here, apart from one or two staff, you can see the older older people in the in the picture. They are some of the staff, including myself, in the background. And um, the rest of them are different ages representing the student council. Uh, a little bit of an idea of what it was like in the girls' accommodation. This was the girls' block. They had um, a Chinese takeaway for to celebrate Chinese New Year, and some of the girls cooked some things as well. Why are the boys eating pizza on the bedroom floor? Well, um, just like a lot of countries, we have had um, some weeks of lockdown, and this was during lockdown last month, when there were several quizzes that um, most of our students took part in. And um, these are some of the younger students, and they won their category. Um, we are 97% um, residential, so students stay with us 24-7 and um, that's why we put on lots of activities and there are lots of things that they can do outside the lesson time and the school hours so this was again as a quiz and you can see here some of the furnishings around the bedrooms because a lot of people ask what their bedroom may look like again because of the time i'm not going to play this we had snow a few weeks ago 
I don't think you have snow in Ghana from what I remember of going to West Africa and um, the temperatures very rarely drop very much at all. Um, this was a short video and if you want to see it you can find it on our social media. It was about three weeks ago and it was all the students having snowball fights and building snowmen. We are also a football academy, so there's the Brookhouse College Football Academy and these three boys were proudly receiving the medals for the um, under 16s category which we'd won I think for the second or at least the at least second, maybe third year running, Brookhouse had won that category, the English schools football um, league. So, this board is quite important because if students opt to do um, academics and football academy, one of the things we will be training them to do is have media interviews. So be able to talk to the media and ask and, and analyse a match, something that they've been involved with. And you'll see that this is our sponsors that are at the back of this board. Um, with a, a professional player after a match, you'll see that the club sponsors are usually um, pictured in the background. We are 53 years old as a school. This was the first school photograph that was taken. And every year since we take photographs, apart from when there was a pandemic and it was made up of students' little snapshots and from their ID cards. So we've come on a long way. We've grown since then and we don't have gowns, we don't have the teachers all in their gowns and their robes. So 53 years, we're proud of the tradition of having um, students from a huge range of countries and cultures. We have very high quality tuition in small classes and we're going to monitor your academic progress and your social welfare. We're working to get you through to university, whether that's worldwide or in the UK. It doesn't really matter um, where you want to go. We want to work with you. We treat you as an individual. It's bespoke education. And we want to be able to, if you wish to go to the US, Australia, Canada, or the UK, we will work with you to apply and get, gain your admission to the right university for you. Um, if you are a football player, we will work with you also to ease you into the world of football. So, we are co-educational, so that means there's male and female at the college. And as I say, we're an international boarding college, so you will have accommodation, you'll have all your food prepared for you, three hot meals a day, snacks, drinks, everything that you could wish for, fruit. Uh, if you're a football player or a sports person, you'll appreciate that there are healthy snacks as well as uh, peanut butter on toast or whatever. Um, and this is our principal. He's got a lot of experience of international students. So he worked in Malaysia for quite a number of years at Epsom College. Our careers and welfare, we take quite a lot of quite seriously and we want to get to know you really well so that we have a high ratio of staff to student. And the reason we want to get to know you well is so that we can work with you and partner you to be able to achieve the very best. I'm skipping through this a little bit quickly because I'm really do feel aware that we are a little bit short of time. Again, more examples of accommodation. Um, some people say, will we be in dormitories? No, you won't. The maximum we would have in a room would be two. And these are mainly single rooms that are shown here. And a lot of the rooms are en suite. So you have your own bathroom or you'll share with another person. Where are we? Well, we're 55 minutes up from London in this small market town of Market Harbour, but we're very close to lots of other cities and people are really quite pleased at how we are in almost in the centre of England, so it makes it easy to get around. Some photographs of what it looks like around the town and, and uh, the accommodation nearby. Um, some of the girls' accommodation is near this canal. This is the high street, what it looks like if we get snow. 
and this is often the first view that um, people may have of Market Harbour. It's not our school, it's the railway station. As I said, we are a football academy um, and I'm going to just skip through some of the slides here. You can do football alongside school. It is professional. We want to give you and we, we aim to have as much of a professional academy as we possibly can and it mirrors what you would have if you were with a, a Premier League team. And this is quite a bit of detail and there's also a film but we can always send people the film at a later date if you're interested and also if you're really serious about Brookhouse this won't be the last time we talk we can talk we can have more more time and you can have one-to-one uh, -one sessions with us again the recruitment where we've signed players international appearances um, some of the um, what we study if you're between the ages of 11 and 14, okay, key stage three, GCSE. And I think very importantly for your area and maybe for when you're leaving your school, it's the A levels and where that might take you to different universities. And I will stop and ask us some questions in, in a moment. But first of all, I'm going to say, does anybody recognize these British universities? And I can't see your reply, so you can reply to me in your, uh, in your questions and answers or in the text box, and Shay will tell me later. They are very traditional, very old buildings, uh, very old and well-established universities and highly regarded. The one that's is modern, it's still got an old part to it, and that's Warwick, but Oxford, Manchester, King's College, Bristol, Warwick, are all places where we've sent students from Brookhouse. This young lady here, this is a video you can watch on social media. She's done her three years of medicine at the University of Manchester after being at Brookhouse. And this is her first surgery. She's going to specialise in surgery. She's with a, a fully qualified surgeon who's teaching her. And she has just done her first carpal tunnel relief um, surgery. We're not all about football. If you want to, and you're academic, you can see these very, very respectable A-level grades that these students have got at the same time as playing very, very good football. So I'm just going to move along very quickly and then give you time for um, some answers, uh, some questions. Um, with our University Foundation Programme, we have some set pathways and I'll talk to you a little bit more about those in a minute. I'll show you some slides. But medicine, pharmacy, engineering, business, law, architecture are the main pathways. And this gives you some detail as to where we head people through to. The different universities are listed here types of pathways and the degrees that they've chosen to do and these are the subject choices they've chosen at Brookhouse. Our fees are listed here which I can talk to you in more detail it's an all-inclusive fee and it's a, and about um, feeding you as well as giving you uh, Full tuition, if it's Football Academy, it's here, it's your kit, your pre-season. There's a lot included in that all-inclusive fee. Before I go on to summer school, because some of you may not want to know about summer school, and therefore I'll talk more about the other part, can I take some questions, please? Yes, yeah, so Carolyn, we have some questions on the screen, and so I'm okay. going to read them out and then try to moderate so we could get people caught yeah. up because some people joined late and so i might yeah. have you emphasize a few points bring them along so one yeah. of the okay. questions that uh peculiar international is asking is if you could touch on some of the courses from your school you showed a slide a yeah. few minutes ago but i think we yes. hurried through it and so, so essentially 
My, if I had more time with you, the person who was asking that, I would ask at what age group? So essentially, we take at the lower end of the school at the age of 11, so that's probably going to be like peculiar school, and at the upper end, it's more like a college and it's pathways through to university. So that would be A-levels and university foundation programme. So probably university foundation would be most suitable for um, your, um, your leavers who were leaving peculiar school and then moving on. Okay. I'm just, uh, it, you asked about subjects. So it would possibly be fitting for me just to show these slides again. So for the foundation, there's a science pathway, and that includes medicine, health, science, engineering, sports, okay? You don't do all those subjects, you do three main subjects leading to these, and they are not exhaustive list. It's giving you an idea of where we have sent students to study certain subjects so maths and physics at bristol and coventry we will have sent them to lots more places as well there's just not enough room to to list everything what we wanted to do was share with you the variety of what's possible so, so there was somebody point, talked carolyn, about engineering point, carolyn so yes. yuluri yuluri kiran was asking if you do ai robotics and engineering and i believe that the math path would be able to take them there if they so choose is that correct yes he would be doing the sciences so the physics the maths for science probably another science um, maybe in the computer science so maybe maths computer science and and um and physics for, for us, there isn't an example here. That doesn't mean that there hasn't been one. What we would do with him is we would look at what he wanted to do. We would be looking at the university and graduate program that he was interested in, seeing what the requirements were and making sure we designed his program to make it fit. Okay. okay. Another question? I don't think we have another question, so you can please proceed and talk about summer camp. Okay, so I'll just move very quickly on to that. Okay, so summer camp. So a few more photographs of Market Harbour for you to see. I don't know whether any of you watch any um, films that are made in England, and uh, but the, this sort of is very typically English uh, style. This is old, and this is you know renovated buildings but it's very traditional. Um, on the summer camp, there are two main summer camps. So there is the academic and there's the fun. So there's the more serious one um, where you're doing more exams and more tests and, and, uh, and those who have English as a second language would be improving their English and those that speak English as the first language as our, uh, as um, you would be from Ghana, then it's communications and British culture that you would be doing. This is giving you a little bit of an idea of some of the excursions. So it's designed so that if you were staying, if you came back and you'd, you'd been with us last year, you could be doing a different excursion than the new students. Or students who stay with us for more than two weeks, if you're repeating and you're staying for four weeks, you're never going to have a poor choice of an excursion where you think you've got to repeat. So Windsor Castle and Eton down in London, the National Justice Museum, Warwick Castle, Harry Potter is very popular with a lot of people still. Full day excursions, the Beatles story, Liverpool. I'm sure some of you um, have heard of Liverpool, the Beatles. And if you haven't heard of Be the Beatles, I'm, I'm sure you will do. And I'm sure you will have heard of the football teams. Buckingham Palace, again, where the Queen lives in London. Uh, a fun sort of theme park, London sightseeing, and a tour of Oxford. Okay. So lots of fun things. These are just examples of things for you to see. This is the academic um, course so that you can see how it's structured. All the courses, even if they're full, full fun camps, 
It's the serious bit in the morning and the excursions in the afternoon with sightseeing at, on a Saturday and Sunday and a half day excursion in the week. Okay, but then there are fun things in the evenings and uh, like the disco field games, um, you know, table tennis, you can go and play football. There are lots of different things depending on your age group and what you're interested in. But again, plenty of choice. Okay. Dates tends to be July and August maximum of nine weeks minimum of two weeks and there are some prices there how you contact us where to uh, find out more and that's it for me okay and it was a bit of a rush i'm afraid but um joined a bit late okay well i've already answered that um I'll yeah so that. we've addressed the questions and thank you very much carolyn